Health officials say another key component in safely reopening is contact tracing. News 13's Stephanie Chavez shows you how New Mexico hopes to keep track of the virus spread using technology. Stephanie? Contact tracing means tracking down everyone who's come into contact with a person with coronavirus, then isolating and testing those people. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham says New Mexico is working with the federal government to lead the country in these efforts. They want New Mexico to be a pilot for surveillance and research and what we call contact tracing. That's figuring out a more automated way and bringing in more workers to figure out who has been exposed. The governor says streamlining contact tracing efforts will allow governments to better address and plan for economic recovery. Currently, if someone tests positive for COVID-19, a contact tracer with the state works to notify everyone exposed to them. Health officials suggest each state have at least 30 contact tracers on staff per 100,000 people, meaning New Mexico would need at least 600 contact tracers. The state tells us today they have more than 100 contact tracers and, quote, more than enough personnel to perform this task. At a recent press conference, the governor also announced a pilot program with software company Accenture, which could use text messaging to alert people. No private data uh, goes anywhere. No one knows who's, who, who is who. It's just getting a sense about who might be exposed so that we can get you tested and then we know. Countries like South Korea, Taiwan, and New Zealand are already using technology to help with contact tracing. Singapore just introduced a tracking app to help authorities identify people who have come into contact with coronavirus victims. Back to you. All right, thank you, Stephanie. John Hopkins recently published a national plan for contact tracing in the U.S., calling on Congress to provide emergency funding to states to hire more workers. For a look at that plan, we've posted the information on our website, krqe.com.